Hi everyone and welcome back. Uh, today, oops, today I am going to show you how to make pesto. This is a basil pesto. Um, there's a few on my blog. There's a roast pepper and a roast tomato one. But this is my favourite. I tend to use it on so many different things. Um, I put it in potatoes, obviously in pasta. Um, it's nice if you mix a bit with mayo for a dressing. So it's so quick. We're going to be a bit noisy at one stage. But what I will do is I will face you downwards so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And uh, maybe you'll have a go yourself. This one is a little bit different. Normally I just, just the usual things. But I wanted to ramp it up a bit of a flavour. So I thought I'd add a bit of chilli. So I got these little green chilies, and I thought I'd add a bit of those just for a bit of oomph. Okay, so let's face you downwards. Right, that should be it. I love these. I've always got one of these. They're so simple to use, and if I want to blitz down nuts, anything quickly, love them. When one goes, I will always get one of those. Right, first of all, we will add, it's about two cups of washed spinach. Not, not spinach, basil. Right, so you pop your basil in there. It's best if you get them um, sort of in a pot growing. Um, I wish I could grow basil. It is the only herb that really doesn't look like me and I cannot grow it. Um, in the summer sometimes I can grow it, but no, that's one reason it'd be nice to live somewhere a bit warmer because I would grow so many things. Right, first your basil, add to that two cloves of garlic. Okay, in there. Add it to that. That is three tablespoons of cashew nuts. Now, normally you use pine nuts in a pesto, but I think this one gives it a creamier texture. So I prefer cashews in mine. You can put pine nuts in, but for this one, cashew. So in they go. Right, we have three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Make sure it's extra virgin because you want it for the taste. Okay, in that goes. Love the colour of it. To that, three tablespoons of cold water. And salt and a pinch of black pepper. I bought a jar the other day because I'd run out and it paled in comparison to my mine is like it's bright, it's vivid. So to that, I have two tablespoons roughly of Violife Parmesan cheese, cheese-like. But add that. You don't have to, what you can do is just use um, nutritional yeast. With the added of that, you get the, the vitamins with that. But I also add a little bit of that as well. But you can use all this. You still get that sort of um, rich or cheesy-like texture. Right, now I'm going to add, get it the right way around, zest of a lemon. Make sure they are unwaxed lemons and still wash them when you're done. Okay, I like mine really lemony. Right, now we want juice of about half a lemon, not the pips. So, that's why I pray I've got no cuts on my hands. Not a lot of lemon in that one. And you always have lots of lemons. I've got to make some lemon curd. And if you're interested, I think I might go through that with you as well. It's so simple to make your own lemon curd. Right. And now, right, I 
I don't want a lot of chilli, I just want sort of a bit of a, so I'm going to take everything out there and just add a little bit. It's just really a pinch. With my other one I add, I tend to add um, the chilli fakes. You know, but I absolutely adore pesto. Never touched it before I became vegan. Weird, really. Right, we're going to have a bit of noise now, so bear with me. Normally pick it up and go sideways. a look and there we go for that one always taste it I think it needs to be blended a little bit more but always taste it see if you actually like that one because you can always add but you can't take away oh that's nice oh it's got a bit of heat for me more lemon Scrape it on the right side. And I can say, I think with all recipes, if you get all your ingredients ready, I get people to sort of chop mine up for me because I'm not very good with the knives at the moment. Um, but if you get it all ready, you don't have to dash around the kitchen and think, oh, where's this? Where's that? Because we all have a junk cupboard and a lot of things go in there and it's like... Right. A bit more lemon bit more lemon juice I got told it looks like I'm on the uh, cider I'll show you in a minute it is not cider it is the bad stuff that I really shouldn't have which is energy drink <laughs> So quick. Right, just let me wash my spoon. I don't want to double dip or anything. Just so I can show you. And there you go. You'll see it more when I take it out and put it into the, um, take that one off, when I put it into the ice cube tray. Don't waste any, scrape it all down. Yep, take that one out. I wish I could show you the shop book, but it's in the fridge and it's outside. And I don't really want to go out there. It is miserable weather here in Plymouth. I don't know what it's like elsewhere, but here is really miserable. I'm going to add I have to grind some more pepper up. I do mine in a, in a pestle and mortar actually. Therapeutic. And that is the pesto. So what I do is just put them in there. And that's it. It's so easy. You know, I think everyone should do it. I really do. It's, it is the easiest thing to make. And one of the tastiest. Like I said, 
tr the roast pepper one is absolutely gorgeous. What I do is I do some of each. When these are actually frozen, I pop them out and then they go into a Ziploc bag. So you've got a, a cube of pesto for when you need it. Like I say, I love it. I think it gives such a nice flavour. If I want a, like a dressing, um, a tiny bit of pesto and some olive oil, it just gives it, gives everything a hit. I don't think I can scrape much more. I don't like wasting any. All that yummy goodness. And I think that is it. So we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve cubes of pesto. And they will go in the fridge, in, in the fro freezer. Uh, once frozen, like I said, in a Ziploc bag, and they will keep up to three months. Well, that was it, and that is so easy to do your own pesto. Um, like I said, there are free recipes on the blog. Um, give them a go. Um, most people have got a, a blender or a, a blitzer. The only thing it doesn't work is the, um, the, the one you use for soup, the one you put, put down into soup. That doesn't work, the immersion blender. That one really doesn't work. I am to say before, I love my gadgets. In the background, you can see on um, one of my newest gadgets, and that is a multi cooker, which is also a pressure cooker. I had one before, but mine wasn't a pressure cooker, and it didn't do quite as much. And I was up Asda, and they were advertised, I think, for £38. And I must admit, I couldn't resist. So, had to get that one. So, the next thing I am going to do for you will be an, an apple pie later. And also show you uh, the potatoes and how lovely and gorgeous and crispy they come out. Um, I don't know what you're doing today, but it is rainy and it is miserable. So, stay inside, keep warm. You know, do some cooking, make some pesto.